Garden of the East Photography in Indonesia, 1850s to 1940s, is an exhibition organised by the National Gallery of Australia of photographic images from the last century of colonial rule in the former Dutch East Indies. It includes over 200 photographs, albums and illustrated books from the gallery's extensive collection of photographic art from our nearest Asian neighbour, Indonesia. It was not until the late 1850s that photographic images of Indonesia, that famed origin of exotic spices much desired in the West, began circulating worldwide. The early photographers in Asia were mostly enterprising young men from Europe, seeking advancement and adventure, like British photographers Walter Woodbury and James Page, who arrived in Batavia, now Jakarta, from Australia in 1857 and established the first studio to disseminate large numbers of views of the country's lush tropical landscapes and fruits, bustling port cities, indigenous peoples, exotic dances, sultans, and the then still poorly known Buddhist and Hindu Javanese antiquities of central Java. The photographic studios established in the Dutch East Indies in the 1870s tended to offer a similar inventory of products, mostly for the resident Europeans, tourists and international markets. Most of the photographers were Europeans. The Sultans, their court dancers and musicians in Job Jakarta, were actually the first Indonesian people to be photographed. They had wanted, since the 1850s, to have a court photographer of their own. But the Sultan of Job Jakarta had to wait until the early 1870s when he had his own official, Cassian Kafas, trained by the local Dutch photographer serving the court. He had a very successful career. In late life, Kafas was widely honoured for his record of Javanese antiquities and performances at the court, and his full genius can be seen in the Garden of the East. From the early 1890s, the larger studios increasingly served the needs of corporate customers, documenting the massive scale of agribusiness, especially going into the golden years of the early 20th century. From around 1900, a trend toward more picturesque views and sympathetic portrayals of Indigenous people appeared. This was intimately linked to a government-sponsored tourist bureau and to styles of pictorialist art photography that had just emerged as an international movement in Europe and America. As photographic studios passed from owner to owner, old images were given new life as souvenir prints sold at hotels and resorts and as reproductions in cruise ship brochures. Amateur camera clubs and pictorialist photography salons, common in Western countries by the 1920s, were slower to develop in Asia and largely date to the post-war era. Locals, however, took up elements of art photography. Professionals George Lewis and Tilly Weissenborn, the only woman known from the period, and amateurs Dr Gregor Krauser and Arthur de Caballo put their names on their prints and employed the moody effects and storytelling scenarios of pictorialist photography. Post-war artists and celebrities, including American Andre Roosevelt, who used smaller handheld cameras, flocked to the country 
to capture spontaneity and daily life around them and to affirm their view of Bali as a last paradise where art and life were one. In 1941, Swiss photographer Gotthard Schuh published in Selm der Goethe, Island of the Gods, the first modern, large format photo essay on Indonesia. While romantic, the collage of images and text in Shu's book presented a vital image of the diverse islands, peoples and culture that were to be united under the flag of the Republic of Indonesia in 1945. A particular feature of Garden of the East is a selection of family albums bound in distinctive Japanese or batik patterned cloth boards as records of a colonial lifestyle, at least for the affluent, in the Indies. Hundreds of these once treasured narratives of now lost people ended up in the Netherlands in the 1970s and 80s in estate sales of former Dutch colonial and Indo, that is mixed race, family members who had returned or immigrated after the establishment of the Republic of Indonesia. The exhibition Garden of the East presents some of the finest treasures from the National Gallery of Australia's photographic collection. It features over a hundred photographers, some known, some unknown, from the period of the birth of photography to the birth of the Republic of Indonesia. They collectively captured the magic of the islands, now to be rediscovered by new audiences in the 21st century. <laughs>